Hi there, Phil Simborg from Chicago on February 1st, 2018. We had a new, our usual shoeette in Chicago today, and there were three cube actions that were debated, and uh, uh, I thought they would be interesting to show and discuss. And uh, let's see how you do uh, on these three. And you can pause the video if I go too fast. The first problem is red is on roll, and red's bearing off to the right, and so is blue. And red's on roll, what's the cube action? Should red double? And if red doubles, should blue take or pass? Again, you can pause this video if you need more time. What would you do? Would you double if you're red? Would you take or pass if you're blue? Okay, this is not a double. It's an easy take, and it's hard to lose your market. You have to hit and have them dance, probably. And it's just too soon. However, over the board, this was doubled, and it was taken. Um, in fact, it was taken with great gusto and criticism of the doubler, and they were right. It was not a, uh, the, double, the takers were right to criticize. It was not a double, but you might get some passes, and that's probably why the person doubled here or misread the position. Um, even if this checker were on the bar, and I checked this, if this checker were on the bar, it would still be a take here. So this is way too premature, but not a bad action double, especially with the Jacoby rule where you activate gamins. Uh, let's move on. Number two, blue is on roll this time, and blue is thinking about whether to double, and if blue doubles, should red take or pass? So think about what you would do. By the way, you get a point on the first one if you got both parts right, if you got no double take. If you missed either half, you lose 500 points. So uh, getting a perfect score of three, or if you get two right, you're still going to be minus uh, 498. So <laughs> you got to get both sides right to be right. Okay, you're blue here. Uh, would you double? And if you were doubled, if you were red, would you take or pass? Well, Stick's Law, prime versus primes or takes. This is a take. It's a great double because, number one, it's right to double. It would be a blunder not to. And number two, you often get passes. And, in fact, half the uh, people doubled were passed and half taken. Uh, that's the way we allow it in our shoe We don't have equal action, uh, which um, is debatable whether that's good or bad. It depends on the makeup of your shoe But the, our... our uh, box is allowed to take half, at least half if, or, or more, and drop half if he wants to. As a result, more games get played out and more drops get taken. It's kind of fun that way, I think. Anyway, it's a double and a take, and the result was that Red almost won the game. It need, he needed a six to win the game at one point and didn't get it, and then ended up getting gammoned. So it was very interesting. Prime versus primes are really, really fun to play. The checker play can get very, very um, um, challenging and exciting and interesting. Okay, let's move on. Oh, by the way, I think what happened here is after the take, blue rolled something sort of innocu innocuous like a 4-1, and then red rolled a 4-2, which was an interesting uh, question of how to play the 4-2, whether to come down and split, whether to slot the bar point, whether to bring two down. I'm not going to tell you the answer. You have to figure these things out for yourself. I've already looked at it and know the answer, and I know what I would have done if I was red with a 4-2, but I think it's very interesting uh, how, you play these, uh, how you play these out. Uh, and that's another reason to double these if you think you have more confidence in playing them than your opponent. All right, let's move on. The last one, red is on roll. Should red double? And if red double, should blue take or pass? Again, we're bearing off to the right. If you're red, do you think you should double? And if you're blue, would you take or pass? By the way, at the Backgammon Learning Center that I'm very proud to be a part of with over 21 teachers, we always teach you never decide whether to double or not until you first use Woolsey's Law and decide whether or not you would take or not if you were blue. That makes the doubling decision easier. So if you are sure it's a pass, you know it's a double, unless you're too good to double. And in a money game and the initial cube, you can never be too good because of the Jacoby rule, which says that you have to double in order to get a gammon. 
If you're not quite sure if it's a take or a pass, then for sure it's a double. And if you're sure it's a take, then you still might have a double. That's where we apply market loser theory and um, how much guts our opponent theory is, has uh, and how likely we are to get a pass. And uh, so what's your decision? If you're red, do you double? If you're blue, do you take or pass? Okay, this was doubled, it was taken, and a blue got uh, gammoned. And I think this might be the one where blue got back gammoned. I'm not quite sure. It turned out very badly, and it is a pass. Not a monster pass, 0 0.060, which is a significant error for a checker play, but not that big an error in a cube action. Uh, it doesn't take much of a mental difference or much of a shift to turn 6.060 into a take. Hope you enjoyed these uh, quizzes. I uh, encourage you to like my or, or subscribe to my YouTube channel, the Phil Simborg channel, and my Facebook page is very interesting. I post positions all the time, and we get lots of comments from many of the top players in the world and get their insights. We've had uh, Jorgen Granstead, Joe Russell, uh, Mochi, uh, the list is uh, Mark Olson. Quite a few really, really top players uh, offer their thoughts and comments. Falafel often uh, makes his uh, remarks on the page, and it's, it's a great learning experience and really fun. Uh, so go to my Facebook page, and uh, also, of course, uh, join the U.S. Backgammon Federation, and I have about 250 videos uh, that are teaching and interesting of all different types of positions, and they're free to members. So that's my pitch for today. Uh, I'm on my way to Ocho Rios for the weekend to do some backgammon teaching and watch the Super Bowl in the heat. And uh, I wish my many of my friends are in San Antonio at the tournament there. I wish them all luck, and we'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.